Thansen, the magical musician. He was one of the Navratna at the court of the Mughal Emperor Akbar. When he was six years old, he started developing his talent. He also loved to imitate animal voices. He was born in the place called Gwalior. His father's name is Mukund Misra and also his father was a great poet. As a young child, he learned music from the legendary teacher of his time, Harida Swami. Thansen was fond of Hindustani classical music. He began his career and spent most of his adult life in the court and patronage of the Hindu king of Reva, Raja Ramchandra Singh. Thansen's musical abilities and studies gained widespread fame. This reputation brought him to the attention of Mughal Emperor Akbar, who sent messenger to Raja Ramchandra Singh requesting Thansen to join the musicians at the Mughal court. Thansen did not want to go, but Raja Ramchandra Singh encouraged him to gain a wider audience and send him along with gifts to Akbar. In 1562, about the age of 60, with the Vaishnava musician, Thansen joined the Akbar court and his performance became a subject of many court historians. He was conferred the title of Mian Thansen by Emperor Akbar. Among the legends about Thansen are stories of his bringing down the rains with Raga Meghmalar and lightning lamps by performing Raga Deepak. The famous Drupad style of singing is believed to be started by Thansen and his guru Harida Swami. He was a mystic musician who wrote two important documents on music namely Sangita Sara and Rajmala. He was a composer of many ragas such as Darbari Kannada, Miyan Ki Todi, Miyan Ki Malar and Miyan Ki Sara. Though he was born in a Hindu family, Thansen embraced Islam in his later life. Thansen died in 1586 in Delhi and that Akbar and much of his court attained the funeral procession which was completed according to Muslim customs. His tomb is in Gwalior. He was the best musician ever. Thank you.